As pilots, it seems like we're always required to remember a massive amount of, of somewhat arbitrary information. And in this short video, I'm going to show you a tool that you can use to remember all of the required reports while operating under IFR. So if you're an instrument rated pilot or you have a check ride or IPC or open airplane UPC coming up, you may want to write this down. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit silly, but I find that sometimes that's exactly what it takes to help you remember it. So we're going to draw the picture of a, of a rooster here. That's what that's meant to be. And uh, write the word west on the left and 500 down here in the egg. Don't forget the eyeball. Okay, and we'll start at the top, right up on the very top where those little, the kind of the red hair of the rooster there, that is meant to represent VFR on top altitude changes, which are a required report. Then moving down toward the beak, we've got time and altitude entering and departing a holding pattern. Okay, the solid triangle that's meant to be the eye is, uh, is compulsory reporting points, so all compulsory reporting points. The wing over here, which is a direct symbol, is representing all fixes defining a direct route. Okay, underneath that we're just going to write FAF for final approach fix in a non-radar environment and MAP for missed approach point, which are both required reports. Inside the egg, we wrote the word 500, which is uh, to help us remember that anytime we cannot climb or descend at at least 500 feet per minute, we have to report it. And that leaves us with the word west. And that, the W there is to represent any unforecast weather. The E is to represent any equipment failures. The S, anything affecting the safety of the flight. And the T, anytime your true airspeed changes by 5% or 10 knots, whichever is greater. So if you want to, memorize a long list of text or draw out 500 West Rooster to help you remember all of the required reports while you're operating under IFR. <laughs>